One of the most underrated things to do in music production is to send MIDI from one instrument to another. For example, you can take something as crazy, complex and inspiring as drum computer sequencer and use it to trigger any other synth and drum machine you have. And that's what I'm going to do today, so let's go! I'm sure many DAWs have this feature, so this video is for everyone. You just have to look how to send MIDI from one track to another in your DAW. Let's start by adding drum computer. And also let's add any other instrument. In this case, I will be using SSD sampler. As I said, for your DAW you need to investigate, but in Bitweek you just have to choose the track where this is the sampler is or any other instrument, and you can see that this input says all ins. As this is an instrument, this is the input for the MIDI. So you can see it detects all MIDI devices you have, but you see that we get also options for other tracks. And those are all the tracks that I have in this project. So if I choose the drum computer that I recently added, now drum computer is going to send MIDI signal to it. And in fact, if I press the keyboard, I cannot play the SSD sampler. So now we can mute drum computer and also arm the track of SSD sampler. So if we open drum computer and press a key inside of it, we will get sound. Now what we need to do is to make that the key mapping of drum computer corresponds to the key mapping of the SSD sampler. That means that in SSD sampler C1 is the kick, D1 is the snare and so on, and we need to make it so it's the same on drum computer. For that you just have to press this icon right here and then you will have the key mapping. We have only space for 8 sound, which may seem a little but actually is a lot to make nice rhythms. So I mapped C1 to the kick, D1 to the snare, F sharp 1 to the hi-hat, E1 to the floor tom, A1 for a mid tom, C2 for the highest tom, D2 for a splash, finally F2 for the right. So now we can start sequencing this sampler with drum computer. Of course, the whole idea of this is to take advantage of the powerful sequencer that Drum Computer has. So, for example, we can start to randomize rhythms. Or if we want, we can randomize each track independently. Not only that, this sequencer has up to 16 different sequences you can chain. And what's better, we can start applying polyrhythms by decreasing the timing of each track. This lets you go really crazy. We can change the tempo and the direction of each track independently. Now you see why this is so powerful, but it doesn't stop there because you can also add humanize and swing. And as this is MIDI, the velocity information will also be sent. You can add the probability, the rolls, the offsets, but you cannot change the pitch. Why I love this is because something like SD Sampler has a library of groups, but it's not something you can edit. Now, of course, 99% of the time, what I will do is that I will open the piano roll and start programming my own thing. But it's also fun to do it this way, because I'm still programming my own thing, but if I want polyrhythms, it's so much easier to program them like this. Not only that, if you feel inspired, you can just use the random features of drum computer. So when I was testing this, I ended up with something like this.
and I thought, well, let's use other things, because of course we can use something like the drum machine that comes with Bitwig or your own drum machines that come with your doll. I thought some bongos could complement the drums. As you see, I modified the mapping sound according to the other device. What's even better is that you can use any instrument. For example, here I'm triggering a polysynth to make some kind of bass. Now a final thing, as this is sending MIDI from one track to another, you can use any instrument that you want. For me at least the idea is to take an instrument that has unique MIDI features, which is often a unique sequencer. I added another polysynth, but this time I'm using pigments to send MIDI, because pigments also has an amazing polyrhythm sequencer. Now Pigments is a really versatile plugin and I'm using it to trigger something really simple, but you can trigger anything you want, even pianos to real instruments, the possibilities are endless. So check out other instruments with cool sequencers or cool MIDI features that you have and try this technique. For me, it opens up a lot of other possibilities for making music. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what do you think about this idea. I will see you around and bye bye.